Oh boy, here we go. For those that don't know, the iceberg trend is when you take a popular franchise and dig deep into the knowledge of it, which results in some quirky conspiracy theories and things you might not know. So, me and a couple users on Discord decided to try it out for a manga called Hoseki no Kuni. Yes, I watched the show, and yes, I read the manga. I'm pretty sure that I've got the knowledge of the lore behind the show. Once it was posted into r slash Land of the Lustrous, it had gotten popular after one day. At this point, I knew what I had to do, and that's why this video exists. To break down the Hoseki no Kuni Iceberg. With that being said, let's begin. Three D TV show. This one is obviously the anime version of the manga, having a total of twelve episodes, which goes up to chapter eighteen in the manga. I highly suggest watching it since it is an absolute masterpiece. Buddhist symbolism. If you look at the luminaries in the manga, it can be related to a common symbol of Buddhism. Everything else speaks for itself. Russian fandom. Surprisingly, there is a large population of Russians that call themselves a big fan of Hoseki no Kuni. Probably even larger than the Japanese fan. Russian was also the first language translated for the manga, just before an English translation. Gems cannot die. Since gems are not actual organisms, they can't age, which means they can be defined as immortal beings. The majority of the Hoseki no Kuni community agrees with this, then say instead lose memory when losing a part of themselves as a counter to an immortality. Foss's Idiocracy This is a common joke throughout the community, mainly because Foss can't stop losing parts for herself, thus making her idiot. That's pretty much it. Seven Treasures This is the main piece of a whole Buddhism symbolism in the manga. That's basically it. Island, true location. There's been a sense of wonder about where the island actually is on Earth. However, I'm not sure there's an answer to that, since there's no indication of regional geography that could be related to a specific continent. It doesn't stop them from theorizing. Voss at Subway, with a question mark. This rare gem, MPI, all started in a Twitter post by Toast, which reads out the iconic word. The community got hold of it, and it became me. Somehow. The Gems Genders. Haha, <laughs> yes. The 2020 debate of the entire community. When the Gems were first introduced, the fandom wondered if they were male or female. Until this day, no one actually knows. Meteors Kill Humanity. This is a piece of lore, which explains that a total of six meteors crashed onto Earth, making humanity extinct and then flooded the whole world. Common lore for the community at this point. Lapis Lazuli An unknown character in the manga that is the most mysterious in the entire series. No one knows her intent and why she exists. TV Show Season 2 Another joke in the community about a possible Season 2 but at this point, it will never exist. It'll never happen. Just trust me on that one. Akmea wants to kill the gems. When Foss was ordered to fight against her own kind, people theorized that this was part of Akmea's hidden plot to kill the gems. This does seem possible, and I can see that happening within the next chapter. Who knows? Soup Foss. When post move Foss turns human like in chapter 93, the community wondered what they would call this new version of Phosphophilite. Surprisingly, one of those answers was Soup Foss, and it stuck on, till this day. The gems don't have genitalia. It's an interesting theory that since they don't need to mate, they don't require any sexual organs, thus making them genderless. They also point out how they don't have tits, since they don't need to use them at all. For them, it shouldn't exist, except really for Rule 34, for obvious reasons. Fosufofirito. And the joke of the community, this is actually how Kongo-sensei says Fos's name. Fosufofirito. 2D promotion video. Back when the TV show was in production, there was a 2D promo showing the first episode in a 2D format. 
It's on YouTube as we speak, so go ahead and give it a look. Ichikawa helps with Pokemon. This art piece of two characters in Pokemon Sword and Shield are actually drawn by the artist herself, Ichikawa. It's an interesting thing to see the authors of manga draw fan art of anime or video games. Twenty eighth gem. In the Hoseki no Kuni Wiki, which exists, it is proven to be approximately 28 gems in the entire manga. However, they aren't so sure about who the 28th gem is. Till this day, no one knows. Post move Foss becomes Sensei's brother. Oh boy, our first conspiracy theory. Some people out there, after seeing the 9th or chapter, had theorized that Foss was becoming Adamant's brother, which was this black box. Not sure why, though, since there isn't any real evidence to back this up. But, theorists be theorists. Question of the ice flows. For those that don't know, ice flows are mountainous icebergs that make an ominous scream that can break your own ears. They are also able to bring out fear to those nearby by giving out creepy messages, to the point of personal stuff to the victim. People theorize why this exists and what makes it do such accidents, but there's not much to research here. Sensei brought the gems to life. Another piece of lore. In the manga, when the first gem was born, Kangu Sensei came to take care of her. That's all I can really say for this one. Voss is dead. There is a YouTube video that gives a theory of Voss being represented as an example of Socrates' idea of a living in a philosophical lifestyle. It questions the philosophical meaning behind Foss's fragility. It's very interesting, and I suggest taking a look at it. Sensei is a machine. Yet another piece of lore. In the manga, it explains how Kunko Sensei, or Adamantite, is a machine, and that the humans built it so the souls above can be saved by his prayers. Lapis took over Foss's mind. A common theory of Lapis is that when she was attached to Foss, it had to took over her control. Personally, I believe this to be true, since Foss would never really go megalomaniac in the first place. Cinnabar is Acmea's secret agent. This was the most absurd of the entire iceberg, because of how eccentric it was. There's a Reddit post which questions if Acmea worked with Cinnabar to kill the gems. There's a similar theory with Obsidian, but there's not much evidence to back this up. The Lunarians planned the Gem Civil War. This is a question of if the Civil War of the Gems was not a Foss's doing, but the Lunarians. I could see this happening, but it's something quite small since it would be well, either be both or one of them. Let's just move on. Kyrngorn is acting. This was actually a 4chan post, which questions about how Kyrngorm is pretending to be with the gems that has been a servant of Acmea. This one is superbly outrageous, and it's highly unlikely this is really the case. Intentional Chapter Delay This is a small conspiracy theory about how Chapter 94 was intentionally delayed by Ichikawa herself. It had a bit of nerve to some, but it's mostly a joke throughout the community. Ugh... <sighs> This has got to be the most difficult video I have ever made. And I thank the Hoseki no Kuni community for keeping my spirits up. Who knows if I ever managed to finish something like this. Anyway, Discord's in the description, all that stuff, link, link, link. Uh, overall, I think it's a good time to say goodbye. Once again, thank you Hoseki no Kuni community, and I hope you have a wonderful day.